Hey everybody, this is Alessandro. Welcome back. So once I finish the blocking plus on uh, on this section, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna focus next is actually exaggerating some of the some of the animation because if I scroll down here and here is a nice jump, the mechanic works really well. But you know, I think it can be pushed even more this section here with the jump and the smash and everything. Okay, at the end, exaggeration is one of the principle of of the animation itself, right? So. So I set up the key on everything, okay, when I'm in blocking, because I want to have a really clean and nice blocking. Um, but now what we need to do is exaggerate this part here. See, I want this pose here basically as the um, as the extreme of the jump. So as usual, I'm going to select right here. But at the same time, because I'm switching between IK and FK, uh, I want to make sure I don't leave anything back, right? And I'm going to add another 10 frames more or less right and because as I was mentioning guys this is gonna be the extreme so I wanna have a, a couple of more of okay so I wanna have a few more frame here and and maybe um, actually maybe I wanna have another one here just to make sure it's really visible so now that this one it's over here is going to be the extreme uh, i want this post to be actually the highest point okay uh, let me first of all reduce the timeline okay so you can see the problem here is, is that now the the, the trajectory is, is kind of wrong right um so ideally what i will want i was mentioning i will want this to be the highest uh, point, maybe this one could be no, the next. Here I started to go down, but also another thing we need to push, I think we need to push this part here even more. Okay. And even though now it sounds a bit confusing, uh, you know, you can do it in the graph editor if you want as well. Um, okay, guys, nothing, nothing weird about it. But I rather do it for the moment write this. Okay, I like to see the curve. And we want to exaggerate also the the part when actually it's coming down. And we want to exaggerate that one. And here as well, we can continue. Actually, first of all, very quickly, I'm gonna kill the um, kill the, the track here. I'm gonna go here, use the twin machine. Okay, I'm gonna use another one here. Okay, as you can see, because it is reaching at the top, I'm leaving three frame here. And another three from here, and I want a little bit more of easy easing out here, okay, before we start to do this, okay. Now, obviously, um, this is gonna look like as a bit like almost is freezing in time, right? That's why we have to to adjust it. Uh, but first of all, I wanna go in the graph editor and go on the up and down here. Okay, so if this is going to be the key here, I'm assuming this is the part we can exaggerate, right? Okay, for now I'm going to keep it like this, and now I'm going to start to clean up the, um, obviously, Move it down here more or less. Okay, we have to adjust the the side part of the of the arc as well. Okay.
Okay. And same here. We're adjusting this part, okay? We're gonna make a really nice and clean arc right now. Okay, when it's meshing here, uh, we're gonna have a bit of a gap, okay? So, because of this, now we have adjusting the gap even here, okay, and even higher. Okay, so for sure now it's reading much better. Okay, we exaggerate a lot the the jump, we are holding it. The problem is right now that um, all this section here, the body is not really moving. Right, it's kind of staying, uh, you know, all the same. It's not moving much. So we have to change that. Okay, so after we adjust the trajectory of the jump. We add, you know, like a few in-betweens. We hold it a bit more, we exaggerate it. What we're gonna do now is, uh, you know, add a bit of motion because uh, obviously, as I mentioned before, guys, we we use the in-betweener, okay? So the in-betweener is not gonna, really gonna do a good job in adding keys or anything, right? It's just very linear and for the, for the spacing. Uh, so what we can do now is having a bit of motion here. Uh, Hopla. I'm gonna use the hip here. We can push, you know, push it on the opposite side. And now we can reduce it actually. And push it to here. Okay. For example, we can do another thing here. Here we can rotate a bit more this side. And now we can continue to rotate it this side as well. Okay. And here one. So here we anticipate a little bit more. Boom. Okay. Now we can do the same with the with the leg. We can keep it straight. Um, sorry, I need to use the right controller. We can keep it more straight, okay? And then slowly start to rotate, okay? We can do the same here. Can keep it completely straight and reducing it a little bit more. Okay. And we can do the same with fit again. Uh, 
and just here, just here, and then here, continue to push this direction. Okay. I'm having a bit more of easy in. Okay. And we can do the same exactly with this other leg as well. Boom. You can. Okay. We are adjusting in this position. Same I can actually do here. I think actually accidentally broke this one over here. Okay. Now we can push it, we can push this more. I think something went wrong on this leg. Okay, should have been more like this. Now we need to readjust it. Okay. Same here. Okay, boom. And again, same here. I can stretch it a bit more. Try to use it and make it feel like it's charging. Okay. And one more time here, just to check the rotation. <clears throat> exactly. Okay, now the legs are moving a little bit. They're not um, <clears throat> holding completely, okay? And, oops. Uh, And same here, we can reduce, okay, reduce a bit more. <clears throat> and here we push it. And here we can push in this direction. Okay. And we can push it here. Okay, boom, boom. And now we have an easy in. Okay. We can do the same with the head. Okay. So basically, guys, you want to have this one feeling a bit more alive, this section here. Okay.
push the spine a bit more. Plenty of things guys, guys can can do. And same with the shoulder. You can keep it lower here. Lower. And boom. And here we push it even higher. Okay, and you can do, remember guys, never do only on one axis. So this could be forward or forward here and then push more back here. Okay. And again, here we can drop it a bit more. Okay, go, go, open it here more. Okay. And a little bit on the hand as well. We can have a bit of drag in, in the head, in the hand. Okay, boom, boom. Okay. Okay. The same here. Okay, here we push it to the extreme. Okay. And we go here on the object. Again, let's push it a bit more here. Just make it feel overall more alive, guys. And maybe details like the finger and stuff like that, we can do them <clears throat> when you will do polish and spline. Okay. So now if you can take a look, there is a lot of movement now. It's happening. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit but you you're getting the idea so guys as you can see at the end you know we just pushed the timing a little bit more uh, we wanted to hold the particular pose a little bit longer so we went a bit further away from what the video reference is and so i made this video just to let you understand guys that at the end a video reference is uh, is just a reference as the word it says uh, you know, and you, you want to exaggerate certain things, you know, at the end, you, ju you, do, you do not just want to copy frame by frame or pose to pose what's, what's going to happen. And at the end, you know, it's uh, as an animator, you're supposed to have fun and experiment a little bit more with the timing. Of course, you can do even more, exaggerate either, even more what the guys uh, I just did today. And uh, yeah, so I hope you could learn something from me um, as usual, guys. And uh, next time you're going to move to spline, which is the most exciting part, guys. See you next time, guys. Ciao.